set up for the night at Lake Aloha. I'm sorry, you bet you probably saw it again. <laughs> Silver's making fun of my video voice. Apparently I have a video voice. So apparently I speak a little more properly when I do these videos than I do in other life. Anyway, this is home for the night. Pretty spot. Good morning, day 91. So I'm glad they're not mosquitoes, but look at all these bugs. Where? Good morning again. I am uh, still walking by Lake Aloha here. This is, I slept um, next to this lake last night. Uh, got out of South Lake Tahoe yesterday afternoon. Um, probably started walking on trail around four. Um, but I actually had a really hard time getting out of town, and I don't mean like the the, the hitch. That the actually getting a ride out was fairly easy. But um, I was just in a super funk yesterday. Didn't really want to do any. wasn't just, just wasn't very motivated for life, and, and getting back on trail seemed like too much to handle. Um, but I'm really quite glad that I did. Um, I just because. I don't know, once I start walking, everything kind of falls back into place, you know. Um, yeah, there's something about, I mean, I wasn't moving very quickly. I was actually really sore. Um, I was having some trouble with my with my knees in South Lake Tahoe. Like, when I arrived in South Lake Tahoe, like, my knees were sore. I knew I'd kind of overdone it a little bit, but while I was resting there, they were really sore. And it was worrying me a little, and so that's another reason I was thinking about taking an extra day. Um, but honestly, my knees feel better now that they're back on trail. They're still a little sore and I'm kind of walking a little like easier and more slowly than I might otherwise just to kind of let the knees back into walking, but they're much... Hey, sorry, I'm having some uh, issues with storage on my phone and so that video cut out earlier. But um, in summary, my knees hurt, but being back on trail is helping. Um, just gonna try and take it easy on them. I wasn't very motivated yesterday, but being back on trail is helping. But also because of that, I am still just kind of, just kind of cruise today um, and enjoy the day. Uh, I'm on my way up Dick's Pass right now, um, which is, I think tops out at over 9,000 feet, but I don't remember exactly how high. Um, some southbounders have told us that there is some snow on the, uh, on the north side, but that, uh, Hopefully it won't be too bad, so we'll see when we get there. Um, I don't have my ice gear anymore. I sent my ice, my axe home in Ptolemy Meadows, and then I sent my spikes and my bear can home in, Ta in Lake Tahoe. Um, so I'm quite happy to be done with those things. Um, added a lot of extra weight to my packet. It's nice to have that, uh, that gone now. Um, and I do think most of the snowy bits are done. I'm sure I'll be walking over patches here and there, and but I think uh, ultimately it should be fine, hopefully. Um, anyway, to compensate for having a lighter pack, I decided to carry way too much food for this three-day stretch. So I wanna make sure I'm still giving my body a workout. Anyway, let's get up over this pass and see how it goes. Off of Dick's Pass. Just came from over there. Gonna start heading down. Day five. Nice. Happy day five. Good morning on day 92. Um, I'm having a nice, cool, forested walk this morning with uh, with lots of flowers, and I'm really enjoying it. flowers there and then uh, the PCT intersects for a while with the Tahoe Rim Trail so this is actually still Lake Tahoe. Um, I actually haven't seen that much of it on the trail but this is a really nice pretty open spot where you can see it.
day. And then a field of flowers. I was hoping there'd be more of it so I could uh, give my... sweet home for the night. Let's go to bed. Good morning on day 93. It's a beautiful morning. I've got maybe 12 miles um, until I get to the highway where I can hitch into Truckee. Uh, plan there is uh, to get in hopefully by lunchtime, have a nice lunch and then um, resupply and actually get back on trail. Not planning on staying the night in Truckee. Um, today makes three months that I have been on trail. Um, so I guess that's exciting. I have, a, I have a pretty skewed and blurry sense of time passing these days. So three months seems like a long time when you say it. And I guess I feel like I've been on trail for a long time. So maybe it feels like three months. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, it's just pretty crazy that I've been doing this for that chunk of time. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try and cover these 12 miles, hopefully fairly quickly, at least by lunchtime, and looking forward to a half a town day. All right, it look, looks like this is the, uh, the high point for today. At Tinker Knob, it's got some, some pretty views. So I had a pretty fun and unexpected night last night. I, um, I did get into Truckee for lunch yesterday. Uh, like, so we made pretty good time. Hitched in, had lunch, did my resupply, hung out at a cafe for a few hours and like charged my stuff. And, uh, and then in the ev evening, like hitched back out of town. It all went very like smoothly and successfully. And I 100% had the intention of getting back on trail last night. Um, I wouldn't necessarily have hiked very far, but I would have like gotten on trail, camped, like had that going. Um, but uh, on the way out of town, I made the mistake of picking up a pizza for dinner. Um, and I just, my eyes were bigger than my stomach. I don't know what I was thinking. I couldn't eat the whole thing. And so when I got back to the trail, um, not far from the trail, like right around the corner is the Donner Ski Ranch. And I had run into some other hikers in town that day that I figured would actually probably be there. There's like a little bar and grill there. And so I uh, was like, well, I'll walk over there. I'll hang out, say hi, and see if I can't share this pizza with somebody. And um, so, but I go, into, I go into the little bar and grill they have. And um, if you show them your PCT permit, they will give you a free 40 ounce beer. <laughs> Um, so I did meet up with the hikers. I was kind of expecting to be there and they're, they're like, Hey, join us. And so, you know, sit down and work on my 40 ounce beer, um, which was a bit of an undertaking. I'm not a big person and I'm a lightweight all the time. And so I don't think hiking really helps that situation. And so, uh, well, anyway, just after my 40 ounce beer, I'm, um, feeling a lot looser and a little bit less motivated to get back on trail and uh, some of the other hikers that I was hanging out with had run into this guy earlier in the day who kind of looks after a little like lodge that belongs to a ski club so it's it and it's right next to that ski ranch so I don't think it's actually part of the ski ranch but it's, it's the building's right next to it and um, when he is there in the summer uh, sometimes he will offer um, bunk beds to PCT hikers for like 10 bucks and uh, they had run into him earlier in that day and he had kind of given them that offer and so longer story short after we've all you know been relaxing at this bar for a while we all end up staying at the at the lodge um, and uh, and it was a really nice night um, there were probably 10 to 12 of us there um, 
most of these, this group of hikers, they've been hiking together for a long time. I've just met them in the past um, couple weeks, um, but they're a really nice group, um, as most hikers are, so it was really just nice to hang out, have a good time at the lodge, kind of relax and uh, spend the evening there. And then, uh, and then I got up this morning a little earlier than some of them, because I went to bed a little earlier than some of them, and um, had a cup of coffee and just talked to the guy, the kind of the caretaker of this place, the one who let us stay there, and uh, had a really nice conversation with him just about, I don't know, goals in life and the things that that matter and um, you know what's important and the choices you make and um, sort of finding ways to put either adventure or meaningful experiences into your life you know whatever that's going to be for you and um, and it was just really nice it was just a really wonderful way to spend the evening and start the morning and I've found in general that it's it's a uh, it's a bit easier to have those conversations or they just seem to happen more naturally on trail, either with other hikers or with people you meet along the way. Just because of the nature of what you're doing, you're out here and yeah, of course you're reflecting about life and your goals and, and people know that. Like, even if you don't come out here, whoop, whoop, let's see, blah, still tripping over things. <laughs> um, even if you don't come out here to do that, um, sorry, there was a junction. I needed to make sure I was on the right trail. Uh, just with given enough time you're just you are you're gonna think about your life and your goals and things like that so uh, yeah it's neat that those conversations happen so often and kind of give meaning and good experiences to to what you're doing out here so anyway um, I am back on trail this morning uh, feeling well rested and showered I wasn't actually get, planning on getting a shower yesterday but I did get one oh. Sorry, rock hopping over a little mud puddle. And we made it. All right. Um, plan for today is probably to do 20 to 25 miles somewhere in, probably not 25, but somewhere in that range. Uh, I have enough food to get all the way to Quincy, which is about six days away. Um, Sierra City is in between there, but I've heard it's really not a great place to resupply, but supposedly it's a nice stop along the way. So I may stop in Sierra City, I'm not sure. Um, Anyway, it's a beautiful day. It started out really nicely and I'm gonna keep walking. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. So I am in the Peter Grubb hut. This is a little shelter that is maintained by the Sierra Club. Um, in the winter, it's like actual like reservation, but in the summer, they just kind of leave it open um, as an emergency shelter. This is the loft up top. There's a downstairs as well. You can get directly into this loft via this ladder right here. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a neat little shelter. There's not many of these on the PCT, so it's neat. There's a ladder up to the loft. Um, because apparently, based on some of the pictures inside, the whole bottom part will get snowed in in some of the winter and you can just, I guess that's why they have the ladder to walk straight up. Anyway, pretty nifty little place. Hey dear. Don't be thinking about when I was putting up my tent and stuff. What you doing? <laughs> it's not so scared, but it made a big point of <laughs> it. just went right there. Oh, yeah. 